my friends, we're going to evaluate the integral of x times e to the negative x squared from zero to infinity. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be super short. We're going to do this using a u substitution where we'll set u equal to negative x squared. And if we take the derivative, du dx equals negative 2x. Now, if we rearrange this equation to solve for x dx, because we have x dx right here. So if we rearrange this, x dx equals du divided by negative 2. Now, what about the limits for u substitution? Well, the limits of x go from 0 to infinity. That's our limits of integration. So u is going to go from 0, because when x is 0, u is 0 to negative infinity, right? It's negative infinity because as x goes to infinity, u goes to negative infinity because of this negative right here. So if we substitute all of that in, our integral becomes the integral of e to the u because negative x squared is u, so that's awesome. And this x dx stuff is just du over negative 2, evaluated from 0 to negative infinity. And at this point, my friends, yo, this is an easy integral because the integral of e to the u is literally e to the u itself. Uh, so this negative 1 half gets yanked out of the integral, and we're evaluating the integral of e to the u. We're evaluating it from 0 to negative infinity, so we'll set it up as a limit, and the limit term becomes 0. The e to the 0 term just becomes 1, and if we simplify this, these negatives cancel, so that's literally our integral.